gone live with the two minute warning. We are also on Instagram right now, going live while we do this. Today we are smoking the Ernesto Perez Carrillo Encore Majestic, paired with the De La Fleur Weiser's Alumni Series. Yep, those are both true things he said. 100% mm-hmm. corn, age 10 years, bourbon, rum, and space side barrels. 100% fact, just like the movie Rudy. Start at the end. Are you ready, Marty? You gotta set up your yeah, you got, you got a timer there, Chief? Oh, yeah, I got to do that. You know we're ready. Time commander here, just You're floating on by. You're a goddamn joke. Yeah, we're live, and everyone's seeing this now. Oh, Are you ready, sorry. Marty? Oh, that's quick. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards, maestro. Okay, so the cigar that we're smoking, number one cigar of the year. I can see why uh, the votes might come in like that. Definitely a very rich, robust, um, and from start to finish, well-constructed, well-flavored, well-profiled. The blend is great. Very smooth. Um, I definitely like this cigar. Uh, when we pair it with the Gila Fleur, I actually found like the cigar was a little bit more, um, not overbearing, but it definitely was the flavor profile I was getting on this. It made the whiskey seem just a little, it was smooth. It was very, um, very easy to drink, but it, the flavors didn't come out like the first time when we tried it. All together, though, it was a great pairing. Good smoke. Ready, James? Yeah. Go ahead. The EP Carrillo Encore is a fine cigar. I understand how it could hit number one of certain people. It's definitely got a lot of flavors that are more unique and underserved in the cigar industry right now. Similar to me to the La Creme, uh, a smooth cigar, a rich cigar. A lot of oaky flavor, some vanilla flavors. Definitely worth trying because it is number one cigar last year. And now on to the Gila Fleur. It's a fine corn-based whiskey. I found it was like a little bit flat with this pairing. It didn't really pop it. Nothing came out as like a, as a distinctive mm-hmm. note. It was a fine, easy sipping whiskey to clear my palate between puffs, but the cigar is what shone through in this pairing. The Ernesto Perez Carrillo Majestic Encore was a fine cigar. I totally understand why they voted it number one cigar by Cigar for Storm Magazine, although I don't give the rankings a lot of merit. I do understand it. It was a fantastic cigar with some oaky vanilla undertones, um, some nice cedar, uh, earthy tones. Fantastic cigar for the experienced cigar smoker. The J.P. Weiser's, I agree, was not the best pairing with the cigar, but it was still standing on its own. was one of my favorite whiskeys of the three in the alumni series and probably one of my favorite Canadian whiskeys, period. Okay. This has been another edition of the Two Minute Warning on the Cigar Dungeon Podcast. Smoke good cigars, drink good booze, eat good food. Cheers. 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 Follow at the Cigar Dungeon on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Listen and subscribe to the Cigar Dungeon Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spotify, Lipson.com. Join the Warpig Social Club. When you join, you get a free patch. Links are in all our social media profiles. Look for at WarpigsSC on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The Cigar Dungeon Podcast today was brought to you by the letter R, as in Rush, the greatest Canadian rock band ever, and the number six, as in six inches is a perfectly average size for a penis, and Budweiser, the king of beers, for people tired of drinking expensive hipster piss, and Cabo Wabo Tequila, making babies for over 20 years. In fact, if you're having trouble getting your lady pregnant, it's because she's not drunk enough. And Big Dick's Halfway In Resort. Rooms by the hour, massages, turn down service available. Ask for Big Dick. And Pornhub. Pay for your porn, but if you're going to be a cheap cunt, go fuck yourself and watch Pornhub.com.